Well, good morning. Thank you for joining us uh, for our Pro Focus today. Um, for those of you who've been praying along with us, I just want to report something we were praying about. We were praying about the reopening of our ministry and for real wisdom with regard to that. Let me just read you what uh, the ministry wrote yesterday. Well, what a fantastic first day back. The children were fabulous and adapted really well to the change of routine that they have been so used to. Thanks to all the parents for understanding the new measures we have put in place to keep the children safe and happy. The whole day went really smoothly. So that was their first day back yesterday. So thank you for praying for us. And I was reflecting this morning on uh, the scripture that came to mind was Genesis 50 verse 20, where if you remember, um, Joseph is reflecting on his life and he's got his brothers now in front of him, having years ago, they've sold him into slavery. Now he's the second in command in Egypt and overseeing an incredible project to feed a whole nation. And he says these words to his brothers. He says, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. I think my prayer this morning is in all the chaos that's been going on, in all the challenge, that whatever the enemy has meant for harm for our nation, for the Church of Jesus Christ, will be turned around for good. An incredible good and the saving of many lives will result. And so let's pray uh, on those lines initially. Father, thank you for answered prayer. Thank you that you've had your hand upon us in so many ways, Lord, through this difficult uh, few weeks and couple of months or so now. And we praise you as we reflect back like uh, Joseph of old, where he, would, he could say, you know, what was intended for harm has been turned around for good. And Lord, we pray that that will be increasingly our story as we reflect on the days that have gone and in the future as we reflect back even on our time today. Yes. Lord God, that wisdom will prevail, that your hand would be upon us, that your favour and grace would surround us as a nation, but also as your people as we seek to serve your purposes in our day and generation. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Amen. I just want to take uh, our focus more international. Um, if we look around the world, we're very fortunate, I think, in the United Kingdom for all the uh, medical knowledge, the scientific knowledge we have, for the food provision and for the water that we have. And I think of the nations that don't have that, that are struggling at the moment with this pandemic in their countries that don't have that medical uh, facilities like we do and I want to pray for those nations for those people groups that really need that interjection this morning and I also really been reading the news this morning it's really touched my heart what's happening in America um, about George Floyd's death um, but his I was reading uh, his brother's quote this morning because there's a lot of rioting going along there's a lot of protesting and there's a lot of quiet protesting which is is great but people are taking advantage of that there's certain um, sects of the people over there that would be rioting and smashing the shop windows and looting and i want to pray into that his brother said you know i'm not doing it in my community and it's not what george would have wanted so his plea was for the people to stop um, I just want to pray into that situation um, as well, that uh, justice will be done and God's peace would come into that nation. So let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you for all that you uh, have given us here in the United Kingdom. I thank you for all the medical expertise that we have and the knowledge and the equipment and for our NHS, that we don't have to, uh, we do pay uh, through our insurance isn't that one way but we don't have to turn up and have big bills to pay and I pray for these countries that don't have that Lord I pray for those that don't have the food that don't have uh, the pure water Lord God that are going through this pandemic in dire situations I pray for them I pray that you would bring intervention Lord that you would bring aid that you would bring help and that you would bring peace and I pray for the United States of America for all this rioting and this looting, Lord God. Lord, that you would bring a peace there. Lord, in their hurting, that you would come. Lord, we pray for our friends, <clears throat> Lord God, over there, that you would come and bring peace. Amen. Amen. Anne-Marie mentioned uh, our NHS a moment ago and uh, 
you know, we've had a number of people over the last week who've been in hospital, some being monitored, some being treated, some having major surgery. And we're just so grateful for that medical provision, but we also want to pray alongside that, the miraculous provision of God to really be brought to bear in the hearts and lives of those who need it. And I really felt this morning to say to you, if you have a physical need that you'd like some prayer for right now, I want to encourage you just to pause the video, go and get some oil from your kitchen and come back and we're going to pray and we're going to get you to anoint yourself with oil and we're going to pray over you. So Father, we thank you for every medical provision, as Amrit said, in the UK. We are so blessed in this nation. We thank you for those who have been serving on the front line uh, for weeks and weeks now. Some of them uh, excluded from seeing their family because of that. We pray your hand would be upon them, blessing and favour upon them and protection and health and strength for those working in that sector. And we thank you, Lord, for those who've had uh, procedures, surgery, treatment in our hospitals from our own congregation this last week. We thank you for that. And we pray, Lord, that alongside that, individuals would know the healing hand of the living God upon their lives even today. And I just invite you, invite you now just to take some oil and just anoint yourself. And we just want to speak healing over your life. Mm. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we speak healing to everyone who stands in need this morning. We pray health will be their portion from this day forward in greater measure. We pray where there are long-standing health issues that, Lord, that will disappear and drain away. Even this week, there will be story after story of your hand upon them your healing intervention in their lives and i pray when they visit doctors and consultants again there will be a measure of astonishment in the medical profession because of what you are doing in the hearts and lives of those we are praying for today in jesus name amen, amen. amen. and i really felt just again to conclude with really the thoughts we were thinking about on Sunday when we were reflecting on Noah and particularly the dove and how he sent the dove uh, out from the ark and, and got guidance from that you know we as we were saying on Sunday we really need guidance in the, as we begin to emerge from this lockdown scenario and not only in the nation but in the church and all that we're about and um, we just want to uh, I wanted to just reflect again on the, the image of the dove. Of course, when you look in the New Testament and John the Baptist is baptizing and Jesus goes to be baptized and John's really hesitant in the first instant, but then it says in Matthew 3, 16 that uh, John consented. And it says, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. And at that moment, heaven was opened. And John saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on Jesus. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. And then chapter 4, verse, the very next verse says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit. And I want to continue to pray as we prayed on Sunday for that release of God's Spirit fresh in our lives today, this Tuesday morning that there would be release in our hearts, that we would know the guidance and wisdom of God. So Father, whatever sector we may be involved in uh, as the people of your church, Lord, that some are in the business sector, some are in the NHS as we prayed, some are looking after our children at home, some are in the teaching sector, some are serving on the front lines in our shops, in local industry. And Lord, we pray for wisdom, not only for them, but for their employers. God, as we journey out of this lockdown scenario, let your spirit come. So Lord, fill us afresh. Pour out your spirit on us today, that the fruit of your spirit would be evident in our lives. And the gift of your spirit, the gifts of your spirit, would flow freely through us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I really do believe you know, what the enemy may have intended for harm in this season, that God is going to turn around for good. The Lord bless you.